Hello my lovely Sagittarius, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. This is for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Take the energy that resonates and leave the energy that doesn't. We're going to be doing a January, February and March reading for you. So I'm pulling one card from the Moonology deck for each month and then three cards from the Tarot deck for each month as well. So Angel Spirit guys, what does Sagittarius need to know for January please? What does Sagittarius need to know for January please? Okay. Have faith in your dreams. This is coming up in near enough all the readings. Have faith in your dreams in January. New year, new you, resolutions, goals, whatever it is that you want to do. This is saying whatever you're setting your goals to, whatever you're setting your mind to for this month or this year, have faith in them. Keep having faith in them, even through the tricky times. Don't ever wander. Have faith in your dreams because they will be very fruitful for you. So what does our lovely Sagittarius? Okay, thank you. Whoa, six of wands, eight of wands, and the ten of swords. This is unreal. So you are gonna, if you have faith in your dreams, you're gonna be very victorious in the month of January. Um, don't lose faith. Keep pushing towards the the goals and the dreams that you are desiring, and you are going to be successful. You are going to reach the end goal that you are looking to do. Okay, so the Six of Wands is showing you success, it's showing you victory. It's going to be a very good month for you and a very good year for you, Sagittarius. As long as you continue to have faith in yourself and faith in your dreams. Now, you also have the Eight of Wands, so things are going to move pretty quickly. I feel that you've been working on your dreams for quite a while and you have been floundering a little bit, like not sure whether you want to continue. They're saying have faith in your dreams, keep believing because things are going to start turning around for you. You are going to reach success. There's going to be a turning point. And when that turning point happens, things are going to move really, really quickly. So in the month of January, don't lose faith you are going to be successful and you are going things are going to start moving moving for you in a very very quickly they're going to start moving very quickly for you you've also got the ten of swords here i feel this is um telling you that this painful time in your life that you've been through the reason why you started this dream in the first place and this painful situation that you've had to endure is coming to an end Okay, this is the end of that cycle. It's the end of a painful cycle for you. Things are going to start turning around. You're going to have a lot of success. It's going to move very quickly. And it will be a chance for you to leave uh, to leave this painful time that you've had. It's, it's going to be able, you're finally going to be able to leave it in the past and move forward. So what does our lovely Sagittarius need to know for the month of February. I forgot what month was after January. <laughs> My son's birthday is in February. How can I forget? Um, what is it that Sagittarius need to know for the month of February, please? Okay. Be bold and make the first move. There may be a move that you need to make in love, in work, in business or whatever it may be. But you need to make that move. You need to make that first move. Okay, and it is going to take a little bit of courage from your part to be able to make it. It's always scary to put yourself out there a little bit. But if you want to reach the success that you are looking for you need to be bold and you need to make that first step you need to make that first move into something so what does our lovely um sagittarius need to know for the month of february please what does sagittarius need to know for the month of february please okay the moon card the queen of cups and the fall okay so i feel like the reason why you're not making this first move like it says be bold and make the first move is pure fear and you're wondering you're like you're making up all these assumptions of what people could say or people could do or i'm sure they wouldn't want me to bother them i'm sure they wouldn't want to take my opportunity i'm sure they're not going to want to go out with me that's just you making fake stuff up you don't actually know the answers until you make that move. You don't know the answer to the questions you want to ask until you ask them. At the moment, you're you're putting that fakeness in front of it because that's what you believe. That's what you're seeing. But really, it's not. So not, not everything is as it seems. 
and it's time to shine your light rather than stand in the dark. You stood in the dark for too long, start standing in the light. Be bold, make that move, contact that person about a business opportunity, ask that person out. Whatever it is for you, go and ask your boss for a pay raise. Go and go for that promotion that you don't think you're qualified for, but actually you're perfect for. So you're the one that's making all these assumptions up and sh and, and making things as they... showing Things are always as they seem. And what you think... What you think is not what is truth. So go and, go and make that first move be bold and make the first move to uncover the truth you then got the queen of cups this is about you taking care of yourself looking after you what do you need to do for you to be able to make this first move what do you need to be able to do to take care of yourself you very much burn the candle at both ends some of the time but this is a time for you to go I love my friends I love my family I love my job I love this I love that but I also love me more and I need to look after me and I feel through the month of February looking after you doing some healing work doing some grounding work is going to be very fruitful for you because when you're when you're in a much better mindset when you're in a much better place uh, within yourself more opportunities come towards you and then that leaves with the full card so it's time to start a new adventure. It's time to start a new journey. I feel that if you take that first move, if you be bold and take that first move, not everything is as it seems. What you think is on the forefront is not actually the truth. The full card here is saying there's a new beginning waiting for you. Just make that move. There's a new beginning, a new adventure, a new journey, but you need to take that leap of faith. The universe has moved you in the place where you need to be. Now it's your turn. Jump and grow your wings on the way down. Learn as you go, but you need to jump, okay? It's time to jump into something pretty amazing in the month of February. So what does our lovely Sagittarius need to know for the month of March? Why can't I do months? Okay, what does our lovely Sagittarius need to know for the month of March, please? Oh, okay, okay. I should pick that up. A fiery climax approaches. It's all going to come to like a, a head. It's going to be like, it's all going to like happen really quickly and everything is going to happen all of a sudden. It's going to feel very fiery, very fast, very quick. Doesn't necessarily mean there's going to be a lot of arguments. It's just going to be very fiery. Like, wow, this is happening. This happened, this happened. And you're like, I can't keep up. I can't catch my breath. And it's just, this is why you need to take care of yourself with the Queen of Cups there. But there is going to be a fiery climax. It's all going to kind of come together really, really fast. With the Eight of Wands there, it's all going to come together at once that you're going to need to take your breath. Okay, this is why you need to get grounded. This is why you need to um, look after yourself because things are going to happen really, really quickly and it's all going to be very exciting, but you're going to feel very overwhelmed. So being grounded is going to be very important for you uh, during the month of March. So what else does our lovely Sagittarius need to know for the month of March, please? What does Sagittarius need to know for the month of March? Okay, the death card. The Princess of Coins and the Seven of Cups. So the death card here is the start of something new. Uh, there's the end of one cycle with the Ten of Swords in January. It's the end of something and the start of something new with the Fool card. Okay, so this is just clarifying those two cards. You've got the death card with the Ten of Swords. If something has ended, something has finished with, it's the end of a painful cycle. And then you've got the death card with the full card because the death card can also represent um, a rebirth, something new happening in your life, a new adventure. It's time for you to rebuild the life that you've always wanted to have. It's your turn now. Okay, so there's a new beginning coming for you. And this is something that you've manifested with the Princess of Coins. You're going to get a message um, which is going to make everything happen really, really quickly. I feel like you're going to reach out to someone about something, they accept, they say yes, and then everything moves really, really quickly. So you've got the princess of coins here. This is something that you have manifested. It's something that you've been working towards and it's about to come into your reality. 
And finally, we have the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is going to be so many possibilities and opportunities coming towards you. You are not going to know which way to go. This is why you need to be grounded. This is the fiery climax that's approaching you. There's so many amazing opportunities that will propel you forward. And it's just going to give you everything that you desire. Um, and you just can't kind of keep up with it. And the energy I'm getting here is take a step back, look at all the possibilities and do the one that feels right for you, that feels best for you and your energy, your family and most importantly yourself. And then you will make the right choice. On the bottom of the deck of the Moonology card here, we do have adjustments are required. You are definitely going to have to adjust yourself when things start taking off for you, Sagittarius. So, you know, take some time out, take some time to breathe, look after yourself, trust your intuition and make the adjustments that are suitable for you and your family and on the bottom of the deck we do have the tower moment things are going to feel like they're all falling apart but actually they're all coming together so even when you feel that everything's going wrong and you can't keep up don't worry about it just go with the flow trust your intuition take a step back and breathe and do what is right for you because even though you feel like things are falling apart things are actually coming back together again it just feels like it's falling apart you can't see whatever what the universe can see you can't see it so just trust it that's all I've got for you today, my lovely Sagittarius. Thank you for spending that time with me. If you like the video, then do hit that like and subscribe. It would really help me out. Anything resonated, then do drop it in the comment box below. Um, I'd really appreciate to hear from you. If you'd like a reading with me, then do check out my Etsy shop, RM Tarot, where you can book a personalised reason in with me there. Uh, there's a link in the description box below. There's also a link in the box for my TikTok. So if you are on TikTok, please head over there and give me a like on TikTok. I would really appreciate that too. Um, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today. Happy New Year to every single one of you. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.